boom salutations um i want to say happy new year to everybody i'm going to probably release this on the day before new year's eve or on new year's eve so i want to wish everybody a happy 2024 um i didn't know if i was gonna keep doing videos i was maybe gonna shut down my patreon because i just uh think i've done the amount that i was supposed to but then things keep coming up so this being one here all right so i'm gonna always try to get the information out and uh, i think this is important because we hear so much about disclosure right now and disclosure turns out being sometimes these almost hive mind stories that we're hearing so much about and thinking that that's true disclosure when in reality or that you know the government's going to come or the, the i'm sorry agencies are going to come forward but in reality you know it's much more subtle than that and i think this right here is a part of disclosure so we're going to address this a little bit and it's interesting because i've said before that you know spirit communicates to me a lot of times through entertainment through entertainment like scenes it took me a while to figure out how that was as a child it was almost a curse because when i see a movie or a show one time i can remember almost every scene and every line from every actor in it so when i was a kid on cinemax and hbo they showed the same movies like every other day it was it was over real quick anyway point being um i took a while to understand how spirit actually used that with me and this this is the case here i started having for some reason a mild obsession with watching the 1982 show when I was a kid, I watched this, the 1982 show, The Phoenix, all right, starring Judson Scott that played uh, Khan's son in Star Trek II and also one of the lizards in uh, V. Uh, anyway, it, what this was was this uh, was a very short-lived season they won. It was only five episodes, so watching it didn't <laughs> take long. <laughs> But um, he is from, actually, Gamma Draconis, and his name is Bennu, and he's from the Golden Light. And he has this medallion on this phoenix that he uses as a type of transformer to actually power himself up and to actually have um, extra powers and things. So anyway, but I couldn't figure out why I kept obsessively wanting to watch this. And then it bleeds to what I start uh, getting attracted to this thing they're doing on asteroid Bennu that's supposedly supposed to impact the Earth in approximately, I saw a couple of years, um, 2182 and also I think 2135. Either way, that's when there's a chance this could hit the Earth and it's about approximately a half kilometer in diameter, um, third of a mile in diameter. So it's a pretty big object. But what they're doing with Project Bennu is they sent a satellite there that goes by the name of Osiris Rex. And they sent this satellite there to collect samples and then took the samples back to Earth and dropped them back to Earth in the desert. And the, the scientists have been having problems getting in the container. It took them a while because of a, the, the NASA cats didn't have a screwdriver or something weird like that. Anyway, some weird screwdriver. They couldn't get in there. But point being, this is kind of connected to some of the things, if you go back on this channel and look at what I was saying about viruses, chronic wasting disease, and also some of these other viruses that are coming out that I believe are space origin and space organisms, excuse me, space organisms, the organisms that are on the collective conscious level, uh, actually assaulting Earth and these sub viruses that are coming up, that are prion viruses, and all the connection to that, the red rain and other things that are popping up. So anyway, that's a different video. You can go back and look on those. The chronic wasting disease video was just a couple of months ago. Anyway, um, and I connected that with Project Stardust and how they were actually dropping that glow engine bucket full of dust tracks for people to see. And how I thought that was starting a type of war with some of these organisms from, from space. So this is kind of, can, you can connect that to this also but what's even more interesting than this is I had heard Richard Hoagland talking about this and about these uh, these this these pieces that have come back of this uh, of this asteroid Bennu and he was looking at it they're, they're requesting that people openly ask for like um, uh, electron microscopic 
analysis of these pieces and when you get real little on the micro the microscopically these look like bioengineered things like concentric circles and also octagonal uh, shapes and they think it you know it looks like it's um, some type of a device uh, like almost like not quite nano gears but smaller gears and things so I put some of those pictures up that he had and also I put a link to what he to his all information there in the commentary but it's very interesting when you hear what they were actually proposing about these samples okay and then also he started comparing that with the lunar samples that were brought back from Apollo it was Apollo 17 uh, yeah Apollo 17 in fact one of them is there's a lunar sample um, called the they call it the moon rock but Biden has it in the White House and it's the moon rock 76015 comma 143 from Apollo 17 it contains the same composites and the weird structure that seems artificial that uh, this other that the Bennu spacecraft or the Bennu asteroid does and what we're start dealing with when you're looking at that Richard Hoagland and these other individuals are saying that this is actually um, a space an ancient spacecraft and we're dealing with where did our ancestors really go out into the universe and what were they doing and I've talked to another video I've talked about what I think was a type of a uh, Van, not Van Newman probe but um, a Bracewell probe that was sent out of here that I seem to remember from past life and when it would come back but they're actually giving the, the giving up the what they're putting on the table is that these asteroids that NASA are going to see are all ancient spacecraft of some type of very advanced technology that we're not recognizing because we're not used to seeing this type of technology and really what you know we're, all me we're measuring all technology by what we have now but in reality if that's what these things are they're interplanetary and they appear to be these asteroids all right that's a whole nother thing going on I think that's really fascinating and noteworthy and what he's wanting people to do in the Smithsonian in the I'm sorry in the um, I'll put a picture of that up too there's a sample case in the Hall of Geology and the Smithsonian in Washington that anybody can go look at one of these samples and you can take a picture of it with your phone he was urging people to with their infrared phone and everything to take pictures of this sample before it gets changed or something happens he says they change out samples all the time and will put something else there that was not at all what this is go look at it now normal people can get a picture of it I'll put pictures of that up all right um, see that's real disclosure right there as well as this moon rock that is in Biden's office or wherever he's wanting people to really put right in and want people to try to get this tested it can be tested by the public and pay for it very interesting what he's trying to do there all right um, by the way, Osiris, Osiris Rex is going next. They're going to send it to Apophis, asteroid Apophis, another one that's predicted to hit the Earth. So that's very fascinating to me. I've done videos about near-Earth objects and how I think some of these are these bros, bros, Bracewell probes that are a little more than like V'ger from Star Trek, uh, the motion picture that went out and comes back with this information. Um, food for thought all right and I think it's worth everybody looking into this and looking at that specimen that's in Biden's office the moon rock the looking and looking and also at the everything brought back from the Sirius Rex and really looking to see how much of this is viable that we're looking at actually ancient artifacts right in front of our face that's real disclosure and don't forget what NASA and all these organizations do one thing is they'll start acting like, oh, we just didn't know. It was stupidity. You know, oh, we didn't realize that was. It's what this was. That they, so we thought it was just moon rocks, just artificial. But there's a bunch of reasons we listen to what Hoagland's saying. It's much more scientific than what I'm going into here. So I, reckon, I recommend looking into it and checking it out and, you know, protesting. <laughs> um, please ring the bell, uh, press the bell, and also subscribe. Please share this video. All right, I'm always trying to beat that shadow ban, and I want to thank everybody that has really been encouraging me to keep making these videos and keep putting the information out there. So thank you very much. Look, I'm sure I got everything here. Boom, 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 boom. Um,
yeah, I think it's everything you need to know to look out on your own and inspire you to do your own research. So thank you very much. Pre-subscribe, share the video, and peace.